G'day guys, it's Chris McCulloch from the New South Wales Local Land Care Coordinator Initiative again for another quick snapshot update. Um, I'm calling in today from Bathurst, uh, which is my hometown, um, and I'm actually standing uh, on the edge of Boundary Road Reserve, which is a, uh, an amazing sort of remnant grassy box woodland just on the outside of, uh, of Bathurst. Um, a big shout out to Boundary Road Reserve land care group um, and Central Tablelands Land Care that have done some amazing work over the, the years to look after this reserve. You can see some interpretive signage about bird life in the reserve behind me. From where I'm standing, I can see a mob of kangaroos just over there. There's walking tracks behind me. This area is fantastic. I bring my family up here sometimes. Always the same sort of issues that, uh, that a native area like this faces, being on the boundary of, of our uh, urban centres. Um, and I know the the guys in the local land care group up here have been doing a lot of work to rehabilitate it, control weeds, and provide a, an amazing space for the community of Bathurst to come and, uh, and enjoy our, uh, our amazing landscape. International Women's Day today, guys, so a big shout out to the women of the world and to the women of land care. Um, land care, as many of you guys know, is a, uh, is a movement carried on the shoulders of women, and we're very lucky to have uh, that the case. Uh, women, as we all know, have uh, amazing capacity to carry the burden of things that they care a lot about. So a big shout out to you girls out there. Um, interesting statistic, at the moment we have 71 local land care coordinators supported by the LLCI. Of that, 59 are women. Um, so a really good proportion. Um, and even interestingly, in local land services, about 65% of LLS staff are women, so uh, an amazing sort of picture of, of women being involved in caring for our land and our landscapes and communities. A couple of quick things I want to touch base with you guys on today. Firstly, Media Opportunity Spreadsheet. Uh, that's the, the spreadsheet that's now in the survey form that Louise Matheson sends out on a monthly basis. We've talked about it in a snapshot update before. Go back and have a look. Good news, cancelling it. It's done. Feedback's come in, it's too hard, too much work, guys. Chris, we're not getting enough out of it. We see that, that we could be spending our time better elsewhere, and do you know what? I agree, so it's done. Don't worry about it. Look at that, feedback works. However, there's a catch. I want you guys to change the focus that you might have put onto that to ensuring that you're linking with these sort of events and communication activities to your local LLS guys. Most of the time, you're doing it in partnership anyway. Just make sure that they know what's going on locally. Firstly, you should get them there. Uh, secondly, they've got comms officers, they might want to promote it and share it out. Other catch, the events and news section on Gateway. I really want you guys to focus on using that. Um, it's such an important tool for the land care movement. It's incredibly easy to use um, and we can now get information off that to use to promote the activities that you're doing. So we've made a couple of quick changes uh, on that. You'll see now there's a couple of little check boxes when you create a news or an events item that says, add this to the communications you know, spreadsheet or capture and flag this for the potential for the minister or our minister to be invited. That gives us the ability to capture some really important things to promote the work you guys are doing out there and, if possible, support you guys in getting some local uh, minister representatives representation. Um, looking at the data around Gateway events, um, in the last 12 months, only 43 events have been put up on Gateway. That's an average of three and a half events a month. Now, there's a lot of stuff happening in Landcare out there, guys. We've got nearly 2,000 groups on the Gateway. There's a whole lot of big regional land care bodies out there. I really want you guys using Gateway. We've got to get these numbers up. Case study numbers at the moment, 424. That's amazing work, guys. A big shout out to you. Now, just to wrap. So I was in Central West over in Parks um, earlier this week for their local gathering, and they talked about a concept which I think is really cool, and it's a concept of challenge scarcity. I want you guys to think about that. I want you to take it on. I'm going to take it on. It's the concept of not accepting that there is scarcity out there and just thinking, well, if there wasn't scarcity, what would we be doing? Ask yourself the question, what if it wasn't too hard? What if it wasn't just the way things were? And what if it wasn't the case that there is not enough? Put yourself in that mind frame. There's always going to be a limit. Challenge it. Say to yourself, I'm not going to accept it. 
and see what you can get done. All right, guys, look, that's it. That's a wrap. Chris signing out from Boundary Road Reserve outside Bathurst. Hope things are well. I'll see you next time. Chris out.